This morning, the Cinnamon Challenge. It's not a game, it's serious and could cause an epic fail. See the stunning new discovery on Good Morning America this morning on ABC. Hello to our fans online. I'm Diana Perez. I'm John Muller with the top stories on this Tuesday. Law enforcement sources tell us Boston Marathon bombing suspect Johar Zarnayev is now being cooperative with investigators. They say he has trouble speaking because of gunshot wounds to his neck, but he is communicating through writing, nodding his head, and making short vocalizations. Based on what he's told them, investigators are now convinced that there are no more ongoing plots. Two men in Canada are now charged with a major terror plot. Authorities say they were targeting passenger plane trains from Toronto to New York. The men in custody were believed to be linked to Al-Qaeda in Iran. They allegedly had trains already under surveillance in the Toronto area. Authorities have been watching them since last summer. In much of the Midwest, record floodwaters have started to recede in some spots, but others still face significant risks. The waterlogged village of Fox Lake, about 55 miles from Chicago, is a virtually impassable place right now. It's expected to stay that way for several more days. Water levels are so high, some residents reported seeing carp swimming in their driveways. And finally, concert goers in Argentina got an unexpected treat. A spectacular streak of light believed to be a meteor. There it was. The crowd had gathered in the middle of the night to watch a local band at an outdoor venue. While well, the colorful fireball lit up the night sky, and there are reports that it was seen as far as 250 miles away. I think some of them thought, is that part of the show, dude? <laughs> Probably. Dude. <laughs> Check it out. Get more news anytime at ABCnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Rising from the ancient hilltops of an Italian village, a crime so brutal, so mysterious, an American daughter whose dream turned nightmare. Now with her freedom on the line, Amanda Knox speaks. Next Tuesday night, Diane Sawyer looking for answers on ABC.